so here's the finished article I've got the wheels on I've got the carbon fibre shaft sticks out equally each end I have to tap it through so at some point it probably will become loose these lovely blocks was made by my talented brother They're just hand tight for now but um, it works perfectly I'll show you ah, there's the uh, dog poo I stepped in earlier so these blocks are cut in half you've got plastic bolts holding them together and this is quite firmly wedged in but these wheels are slipping up and down a bit so I tried a minute ago I did put some tape just a bit of tape with a little bit sticking out and that held it so but I might, might get something a little bit bigger maybe a bit of rubber or something and just put that on tape that so yeah it's looking pretty good I've got these straps to fit I had to force them a little bit so you can see a slight bend <laughs> but this is only plastic and it's not part of the coil the coil is inside another plastic tube inside that so it's just it doesn't particularly matter about the tube I put these marks on to show me which ones were glued and which ones weren't because they were pulling out because these are only pushed together so I've got the straps holding it together nice and tight and I think you know I probably could maybe put a little bar out just a touch but we'll see we'll see how I go I might have maybe something coming up slightly so I'm not bent over so much but we'll see it we'll see how it goes because yeah I think it's gonna be really good and I've got some real epic permissions coming up with it so I'm gonna probably test it out on some of my own fields solid rubber thin and the reason it's thin is because if we go over here well, I've just pushed it see those marks now if that was a wide tie it probably wouldn't do that so much but because it's thin it's left marks in the grass so next time I turn round I'll know where to push I won't have to grid I won't have to grid the whole field out with tapes I'll know where I've been so I expect so at some point down the road my expert uh, 3d printer friend Cliff um, who uh, he make oh, he's, he's flat out making 3d printed things I expect he'll probably make me something up in the future but for now that's working just fine it's hand tight for now um, and I think I think I've just about done it now I'm waiting on the delivery of the Z2 which has been posted by DHL it's on its way so hopefully in the next oh, I don't know how long they're going to take to uh, deliver this but uh, Hopefully soon you'll be seeing me out in the fields detecting with this monstrosity. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. It's a bit tight. I think it's coming. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Ah. Try to avoid the shit. That's not going very well. So I'm going to take the wheel off. Come on, you pesky thing! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Oh. right. I'll wash the poo off that later. There we go, look, the little blocks. With these bolts, I'm not sure what size they are, but they're quite substantial plastic bolts now the eagle eyes amongst you might have noticed that those are metal bolts 
Ah, yeah. Oh, metal bolts on a on a coil. What's whatever next? Well, the thing is, this coil only sees big things like hordes and uh, horseshoes. Maybe ho maybe horseshoe size upwards. So it's going to miss out a lot of the rubbish in the fields. Oh, wrong hole. <laughs> Gonna miss out a lot of the rubbish and only look for the big stuff. So I'm at least hoping to find some Anglo-Saxon horseshoes and even Roman ones. Because I've got lots of Roman sites. So Roman horseshoes would be very nice. And Saxon ones, I've only found fragments of Saxon horseshoes, so I'd like to find a few intact ones. And a Roman horseshoe would make my year. Well, a hoard of 50,000 gold coins would do better. Right. Let's get the other one off. See, there's, inside there is another wire, tube, another tube rather. Oh, that one comes off there. That one comes off. That one comes off there. So there we go, it. And it all folds up. Like so. Intelligent people, these Germans. Right, so I'm going to pack up and hopefully in a few days I will get the machine. <laughs> yeah, the epic machine will be coming. So, fingers crossed, we're going to find some epic relics with it.